What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? The Kansas City Chiefs have done it again. Not only did they defeat the San Francisco 49 ERs in a Super Bowl rematch, but they now stand as the NFL's only unbeaten team. Think about that for a second. Out of all the teams in the league, the Chiefs are the last one standing without a loss. How did they pull it off? It wasn't easy, especially without some of their top wide receivers and running backs. But this game showed why they're still the team to beat. In today's video, we're breaking down five major takeaways from the Chiefs 28, 18 victory over the 49 ERs. From the unexpected rise of two rookie defenders to McCole Hardman's game-changing performance, we've got a lot to talk about. We'll also dive into the team's red zone improvement and a bold but failed fake punt that had everyone talking. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button and join the conversation in the comments. Will the Chiefs stay unbeaten? Let us know what you think. And let's dive into the key moments that kept the Chiefs on top of the NFL. The first thing that made the Chiefs unbeaten are their rookies who stepped up in a huge way during this game. Chris Roland Wallace and Jaden Hicks, two names you might not have expected to hear, made game-changing plays, each grabbing an interception off Brock Purdy. And get this, before this game, these guys had a combined 14 defensive snaps all season. Let that sink in. Defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo decided this was the perfect game to throw these rookies into the fire. And they delivered. Roland Wallace read an overthrow like a seasoned pro, snagged the ball, and calmly tapped both feet inbounds for a crucial turnover. What did the Chiefs do with that momentum? turned it into seven points, with Mahomes punching it into the end zone himself. Then there's Hicks, who wasn't even supposed to be in the game, making a clutch interception in the end zone when Justin Reed briefly took a couple of snaps off. Hicks' play led to another touchdown after a 12-play drive. Talk about stepping up when it matters most. These young defenders are a testament to the depth of the Chiefs roster and the brilliance of Spagnuolo's game plan. If these rookies can continue to perform like this, it adds yet another layer to a defense that's already proven tough to beat. Secondly, McCole Hardman, this guy just loves playing against the 49 ERs. Whether it's the regular season or the Super Bowl, Hardman always seems to find a way to make a big impact, and Sunday was no different. Hardman had 55 total yards in this game, but it was his game icing touchdown and a huge 55-yard punt return that really stood out. What makes Hardman so effective against teams like San Francisco? It's all about his speed. But here's the twist. Hardman's speed is best used horizontally, not just vertically. That's exactly what the Chiefs did to take advantage of the 49 ERs aggressive pass rush led by Nick Bosa. The 49 ERs are known for their quick bursts off the line and Hardman's ability to stretch the field horizontally opens up space where defenders would normally crash into the backfield. Two years ago, Hardman scored three touchdowns at Levy's Stadium. And let's not forget, he had the game-winning score in last February's Super Bowl. It's no surprise the 49 ERs are probably tired of seeing him on the other side of the field. Hardman might not always be the most consistent player, but when it comes to big moments against aggressive defenses, he's proven to be the Chiefs' secret weapon. Red zone was the third thing. Where Chiefs were having some serious, even ranking as the NFL's fourth worst team in converting red zone trips into touchdowns. But that started to change on Sunday. Kansas City turned four out of five red zone opportunities into touchdowns, a massive improvement over their recent struggles. Kareem Hunt was a big part of that success, scoring two touchdowns in the second quarter, one from a yard out and another from six yards. Hunt's ability to fight for every inch made a huge difference in these goal line situations. He may not have had the same burst he did a few weeks ago, but his physicality and determination in close quarter situations paid off. What made the difference? Sometimes it's just a matter of luck evening out. The Chiefs' red zone issues weren't tied to any specific flaw, but rather a combination of missed opportunities and randomness. On Sunday, those random factors swung in their favor, and we saw the offense finally converting those crucial chances into touchdowns. This shift from field goals to touchdowns makes a world of difference for the Chiefs' offensive output. It's the kind of trend they'll need to continue if they want to keep their unbeaten streak alive. Now let's talk about one of the most discussed moments in the game, the fake punt. On a crucial fourth down, the Chiefs made a bold call to fake the punt, but it didn't go as planned. The 49 ERs were ready for it, keeping their regular defense on the field and the fake completely fell apart. It's one of those plays where you appreciate creativity, but execution is everything. Here's the problem. A fake punt works best when it takes the opponent by surprise. 
In this case, there were neon signs flashing that the 49 ERs were expecting something tricky. When you're in that situation, sometimes it's better to call it off and let your offense take the field with Mahomes running the play. Instead, the Chiefs stuck with it, and it cost them a key opportunity. In hindsight, this was a moment where playing it safe could have made more sense. While the Chiefs were aggressive in trying to keep the momentum, it's a reminder that not every risk pays off, especially when the defense is one step ahead. Lastly, where everything was good, to be honest, the Chiefs' passing game wasn't exactly pretty in this one. Patrick Mahomes, as great as he is, faced some serious challenges. Without his top two receivers, Rashi Rice and Marquise Brown, and with Juju Smith-Schuster going out early, Mahomes had to rely on Xavier Worthy, Sky Moore, and McCole Hardman. And let's just say the results were mixed. Mahomes was intercepted twice, one on a tipped pass and another when Worthy slipped. These weren't entirely on Mahomes, but they still count. He's now got six touchdowns and eight interceptions this season, which is definitely raising some eyebrows. But let's not panic just yet. It's important to note that Mahomes was under constant pressure from the 49 ERs defense, with star rusher Nick Bosa disrupting several plays. There were a few missed opportunities, though. On the opening play of the second half, Mahomes overthrew Worthy, who had a clear step on the defense. And there were a couple of missed connections with Travis Kelsey on third downs that could have kept drives alive. But hey, we know Mahomes is dealing with a depleted receiving core and heavy defensive pressure. Is it concerning? Maybe. But if there's one thing we've learned over the years, it's this. Never count Mahomes out, no matter the situation. Despite the struggles in the passing game, Mahomes still found ways to make big plays. He overcame two interceptions and made key contributions with his feet. Mahomes finished with just 154 passing yards, his second lowest ever in a full game, but his playmaking ability shined. One standout moment, a 33-yard scramble where Mahomes juke D. Winters and later finished the drive with a one-yard scramble on fourth and goal, lowering his shoulder into safety Malik Mustafa. As Kareem Hunt put it, he's just a playmaker. Besides the Chiefs' greatest efforts, things took a tough turn for the 49 ERs. Star receiver Brandon Ayuk was carted off the field with a right knee injury after making a catch late in the first half. Coach Shanahan expressed serious concern, fearing it could be an ACL tear. If true, it would be a major blow to the 49 ERS offense moving forward. So there you have it. Five key takeaways from the Chiefs' win over the 49 ERs, keeping them as the NFL's only unbeaten team. From the unexpected heroics of the rookies, Mahomes' passing struggles, McCole Hardman's clutch performance, the red zone turnaround, and the gutsy but failed fake punt, it was a game full of twists. Now we want to hear from you. Do you think the Chiefs can keep this unbeaten streak going? What stood out to you the most from this game? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Chiefs updates and NFL content. We'll be diving into every key moment of the season as the Chiefs continue their pursuit of another Super Bowl. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.